Her next victim might even be a male admirer, unable to resist her deadly charms. The adult females are huge in comparison to the males. The males are about the size of my little fingernail. The female with her legs spread may be this big. If he's not careful, this would-be suitor will get more than his heart broken. Female banana spiders eat their males after mating. The males need to be very, very careful. They hang out on the female's web, actually duking it out with one another, and then the winner will very gingerly approach the female, do some vibratory courtship, and go in and mate with her. Today, love is not on her agenda. Her lucky suitor escapes with his life. She has a golden web to weave. The banana spiders live in these big orb webs with the barriers on either side. And the barriers are designed to keep super large prey from barreling into the web. This textiles expert produces the spider world's strongest silk. Tough enough to snare small birds and micro bats. Some have even tried to harvest banana spider silk to make human body armor. It's a very organized structure that is alternating sections of crystalline and what's called amorphous. It's both very strong and very stretchy. And there's lots and lots of interest in using spider silk or some man-made version of spider silk for many uses, such as parachutes that are extremely lightweight but don't tear. This banana spider silk is particularly strong. Assassin bugs sometimes use their antenna to gently tap their prey several times just before striking. It's thought this confuses or even hypnotizes them. We're not sure how it works, but it seems to be very effective. The surprises don't stop there. The female assassin bug will often be found smearing herself with thick brown gunk. That goo in her abdomen isn't just weird body art. It's actually terpenoid-laden plant resin that she uses to coat her eggs to protect them from ants. So she's not just a good fighter, she's a natural-born chemist. <laughs> 